Hello YouTube, so this video is about installing macOS Sequoia or other operating system into a non-supported iMac or MacBook. So for that I'm using Open Core Legacy Patcher, which is a user-friendly tool that breathes new life into older Macs computers. Uh, it allows you to install and run newer versions of macOS on old Macs that Apple no longer official supports. Uses Open Core, which is a special bootloader that helps you your old Mac run modern macOS version smoothly. It's like a bridge between your old Mac hardware and the new software making them work together. The tool applies necessary patches and modifications during the boot process without permanently changing your Mac operating system. It is designed to be easy to use with a point and click interface that automates the complex process of setting up open core. OCLP can also unlock some features on newer Macs that uh, Apple has restricted like enabling airdrop or universal control on certain models. It's a community-driven project, meaning it's created and man maintained by Mac enthusiasts who want to keep all their hardware useful and up-to-date. By using OCLP, you can extend the life of your old Mac, giving it access to the latest macOS features and security updates that it wouldn't otherwise be able to use. Okay, so as you can see, I just booted macOS Sequoia and so I'm 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 capturing the the screen on other Mac so for the computer not being impacted by software running in the background when recording the screen okay so those specs on the top about the CPU and the RAM they are in real time okay so as you can see this is my old iMac so it was stuck on snow macOS snow leopard and it was running good but this is an old machine it was not being used and so I saw that the uh, open core legacy patcher has been updated and it was giving opportunity to install the latest operating system on really old Macs. So I really needed to try. And as you can see, it I have succeeded. And so the video I will be showing you how it works. And if you are thinking on installing also, you will be, you will know what you can use it for okay so as you can see we can use uh, youtube without any, any restriction so it's playing 1080p and it works really well okay also already show that the wi-fi is working perfectly also the bluetooth is working perfectly and so so far so good and you see so top uh, that application is giving you in real time the the CPU and the RAM it just works so I'm really happy so I have the a Mac mini M4 I will not be using this computer this iMac but it was just for the study to be how it performs with the macOS Sequoia and this is the latest version and it's working really really nice and you see also Apple TV is working the sound is not enabled on purpose because I don't want to, to get a strike but as you can see it's working perfectly but not everything is working so uh, if I open maps I cannot see anything so just for your information so the gpu on this computer is really old and so it's patched by open core legacy patcher but uh, the, the the main thing the metal 
option that is required on new system it's not it's not enabled that is why we I cannot use um, I cannot use uh, I cannot see anything on maps uh, let me show you so this problem program is only to show you that uh, the, the the GPU capabilities and if we click settings over here we we will see here those two options are not enabled not available you see so yeah metal is not available okay so your your mac requires metal for several reasons so performance optimization unified api modern gpu features apple ecosystem integration future proofing efficient resource management developer tools several things so yes we are able to use it but uh, you will know that for uh, handling video it's not so so great but we still we are still able to to play some files and to cut some files i will show you in a minute and it works okay but um, if i open iMovie i will open now let me show you so if you are planning to use iMovie it will not work so you the, the application open and you notice i i have a video dragged to be edited but when, when i play there's no output so only a black screen so we cannot edit videos with the, this application and remember so it's only using the cpu not not the gpu but um, we can all we we can play videos with no problems okay so this is a 4k video and as you can see it plays really nice okay so no problems at all to 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 play 4k video the problem is for video editing at least with the iMovie it's not possible but if you want to slice some so let me show you so this is in fact 4k and no problems at all to open those kind of files ah just to say that this particular iMac has 12 gigabytes of ram and so it can make the difference if you're the one you have only have eight or less okay so just to say that this one uh, is running with 12 gigabytes of ram so with this application i will slice a bit uh, of this original 4k video that i have on my disk and as you can see it can slice with no effort here we have the sliced part so in fact it, if it's possible to to make some edits on video so you just have to look for some application that doesn't require the GPU and probably you will be able to use it as you can see it works really well okay so and if you didn't know this application lossless cut um, I made a video with uh, several applications that I'm using and I recommend so go check my channel and check that video where I talk about my favorite applications okay so let's continue so if you plan to use um, Microsoft Office with your upgraded <laughs> iMac yes it works well so i will just create an excel file and i will save just to see 
and to show that it's working good. Don't forget if you are enjoying the video to give a thumbs up. I will explain uh, how I did it. So if you are new to Open Core Legacy Patcher, I will explain how I did it and it's not difficult, okay? So wait a little bit, uh, it will be in a few moments, okay? So just to say that I have a, an internal HD drive, so mechanical, and then I have a solid state drive. I removed the optical DVD and I inserted a caddy with a solid state drive. So I have two disks, but the Sequoia is running from uh, the solid state drive, okay? Because if you try to do this on a HDD, probably it will lag, it will be really bad, okay? So the first thing we need to do is to install Open Core Legacy Patcher to your current installation and that will enable you to boot your machine, you see? So on the right, the, that one with the circle, it was the it contains the patch. The other ones are installations that I have on my HDD and on my SDD. And after that, so we need to to patch. But before, if you don't have the macOS installer, you can create one with the, this application. So if you don't have macOS Sequoia or Sonoma, you can create with Open Core Legacy Patcher. So you just need to select this option and put the USB and it will create a, an installer for you. Okay. And then after the first boot, you need all, again to run the, the post past patch and so open core legacy patcher will check your system will check the machine you are running and will apply the necessary patches for everything to run as you see running on the screen okay so this is the website and if it works for you so you have all the instructions on the left i will leave the links on the video description and so if it works for you don't forget to to give some some love to the creators of open core legacy patcher and also don't forget if you enjoyed the video to give it a thumbs up bye bye